This is Silly Willy. Hello. He is very silly. He even wears his hat upside down. Yesterday, Silly Willy had a great day. What did you do, Silly Willy? Well, first of all, I watched TV. Then I painted a picture. After that, I walked in the park. Then I played with my friends. Yay! Yippee! Yay! Yay! After that, I kicked a ball. Then it started raining. I jumped in puddles. Then I played a game with my friends. And finally, I went back home and danced and danced all night. Today, Silly Willy is very sleepy. Silly, Silly Willy. Our mothers are special. My mother taught me to fly. My mother taught me to swim. My mother taught me to hop. My mother taught me to wag my tail. My mother taught me to run. My mother taught me to roar. My mother taught me to eat bamboo. My mother taught me how to howl at the moon. My mother taught me to pet. My mother taught me to swing from tree to tree. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. <laughs> A. B. C. D. E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z A B C Sitting in a tree D E F Cooked by a chef G H I J Sleeping all the day K L M Dancing with a hen. N O P Swimming in the sea. Q R S Wearing a dress. T U V Drinking cups of tea. W X Y Flying in the sky. And on its own, Z, 
Learning how to ski. This is Farmer Fred. He is working on his farm. The farmer wanted to grow some vegetables. One day, the farmer planted some seeds in his field. Some days it was sunny, and some days it was rainy. After a few weeks, the vegetables started to grow. The vegetables grew and grew very well. The farmer was very happy. One day, the farmer went to check on his vegetables. Oh no! said the farmer. The carrots and lettuce have gone. The farmer was very shocked. <gasps> the next day, the farmer checked his vegetables again. Oh no! said the farmer. The onions and radishes have gone. The farmer was very confused. Huh? The next day, the farmer checked his vegetables again. Oh no! said the farmer. The corn and potatoes have gone. The farmer was very angry. Ugh. The next day, the farmer checked his vegetables again. Oh no! said the farmer. The pumpkin has gone. Th the farmer was furious. <coughs> So that night, the farmer waited behind a rock. He waited and waited for a long time. Suddenly, a rabbit appeared and hopped over to the cabbage. The farmer quickly swung his net and caught the rabbit. The rabbit is now the farmer's pet. Every day, the farmer gives the rabbit lots of carrots to eat. The rabbit and the farmer are both very happy. This is Farmer Fred. Here he is on his tractor, working on his farm. The farmer wanted to grow some vegetables. One day, the farmer planted some seeds in his field. Some days it was sunny, and some days it was rainy. After a few weeks, the vegetables started to grow. Every day, the vegetables grew more and more, until the farmer had a field full of wonderful vegetables. They were almost ready to pick. The farmer was very happy. One day, the farmer went to check on his vegetables. Oh no! exclaimed the farmer. The carrots and lettuce have gone. The farmer was very shocked. <gasps> the next day, the farmer went to check on his vegetables again. Oh no! said the farmer. The onions and radishes have disappeared. The farmer was very confused. Huh? The following day, the farmer once again went to check on his vegetables. Oh no! exclaimed the farmer. The corn and potatoes have disappeared! The farmer was very angry. <sighs> the next day, the farmer checked his vegetables again. Oh no! shouted the farmer. Where is my pumpkin? The pumpkin has gone as well. The 
farmer was furious. Ah! The farmer had a plan. That night, he waited behind a rock. He waited and waited for a long time. All of a sudden, a rabbit appeared on the farmer's vegetable field. It looked around but didn't see the farmer hiding behind the rock. Then it hopped over to the cabbage. Just as the rabbit reached the cabbage, the farmer quickly swung his net and caught the rabbit. Now I know why my vegetables keep disappearing, said the farmer excitedly. The farmer took the rabbit home. The next day, the farmer built a hut for the rabbit. Now the rabbit is farmer's pet and lives on the farm. Every day, the farmer gives the rabbit lots of carrots to eat. The rabbit and the farmer are both very happy. This is Farmer Fred. He is working on his farm. The farmer is planting seeds. Vegetables are starting to grow. The vegetables are growing well. The farmer is happy. The next day, the carrots and lettuce have gone. The farmer is shocked. <gasps> The next day, the onions and radishes have gone. The farmer is confused. Huh? The next day, the corn and potatoes have gone. The farmer is angry. <sighs> the next day, the pumpkin has gone. The farmer is furious. <laughs> That night, the farmer waits behind a rock. A rabbit hops over to the cabbage. The farmer catches the rabbit in his net. Now, the rabbit is the farmer's pet. The farmer and the rabbit are happy. Hi, I'm Maria, and I am the luckiest girl in the world. Why? Because I have a magic carpet. I use it to fly all over the world. This morning, I decided to go for a ride on my magic carpet, as I usually do, but it was gone. I always keep it under my bed, but it wasn't there. This was strange. I hardly ever lose things. Last year, I lost a pencil. But that is the only thing I have ever lost. I sometimes talk to my friends about my problems. They usually come up with the answers, but today they had no idea. I thought about asking my little brother, <laughs> but I didn't because he never knows anything. So I asked my parents. My mother didn't know because she almost never uses the magic carpet. My father didn't know either because he rarely uses it. My dog wouldn't have the magic carpet. He's not allowed to go near it because he usually chews it. I don't often give up, but I didn't know what to do. It was getting late, so I went to bed. 
I had a dream that I was flying to distant lands, fighting dragons and finding treasure. I almost always have dreams like this. At the end of the dream, the magic carpet said, I'm going to go and visit my family. Don't worry, I'll be back in the morning. When I woke up, I looked under the bed. The magic carpet was there. Then I noticed something. On the magic carpet was a photograph of four carpets together. Was this the magic carpet's family? Was my dream real? Hello. My name is Wendy the Witch. Today is a special day. It is my best friend's birthday. I'm going to help make a party for her. I need to make a special spell in my cauldron. First, I have to go shopping to buy the ingredients. Hello. May I help you? Hello. Yes, please. Six frogs legs, please. Here you are. Three gold coins, please. Thank you. And eight zombie eyeballs, please. <laughs> Here you are. That's six silver coins, please. What is in the jar? Bat's wings. How much are they? One silver coin per wing. Okay. Six bat's wings, please. Do you have a monster's finger? Yes, I do. How much is it? It's five gold coins. Oh, that's expensive. I'll take it. Do you have any spider's legs? Yes. Do you want red or green? Red, please. Okay. Two gold coins, please. Thank you. Back at home. It's party time. Let's make a potion. Yippee! It has worked. It's a balloon making potion. Oh no! It won't stop. What a fun party. What are you doing, Sally? I'm running. What are you doing, Jose? I'm drinking juice. What are you doing, Emmy? I'm cooking. What are you doing, Ken? I'm swimming! What are you doing, Maria? I'm walking. 
What are you doing, Leo? I'm drawing a picture. What are you doing, Hannah? I'm eating. What are you doing, Kazu? I'm sleeping. Good night. I am a flower. I like sunny weather. I am a duck. I like rainy weather. I am a kite. I like windy weather. I am a cloud. I like cloudy weather. I am a snowman. I like snowy weather. I am a monster. I like foggy weather. I am a lizard. I like hot weather. I am a penguin. I like cold weather. What weather do you like? It is the night before Easter. Here is the Easter rabbit. He is coming to my house while I'm sleeping. He is going to hide lots of chocolate eggs. Good morning! Today is Easter. The Easter rabbit has hidden lots of chocolate Easter eggs in my house. Hooray! Let's look for the Easter eggs. Let's look in the garden. Is there an egg in the tree? No. Is there an egg under the bush? No. Is there an egg near the flowers? No! Where is the chocolate egg? Let's look in the living room. Is there an egg behind the TV? No. Is there an egg on the chair? No. Is there an egg in the fire? No! Where is the chocolate egg? Let's look in the kitchen. Is there an egg in the sink? No. Is there an egg in a cupboard? No. Is there an egg on the floor? No! Where is the chocolate egg? Let's look in the bedroom. Is there an egg next to the lamp? No. Is there an egg on the bookshelf? No. Is there an egg in the bed? No! Where is the chocolate egg? Let's look in the dining room. Is there an egg on the table? No. Is there an egg on a chair? No. Is there an egg under a chair? No! Where is the chocolate egg?
Let's look in the bathroom. Is there an egg in the bath? No. Is there an egg on the toilet? No. Is there an egg in the sink? No. Where is the chocolate egg? I found all of the chocolate Easter eggs. <laughs> Hooray! I love chocolate. Today I am going to eat all of my chocolate eggs. Yummy! Do you like chocolate? Thank you, Easter Rabbit. See you next year. It's Easter night. The Easter Rabbit is coming to my house to hide chocolate eggs. It's Easter morning. Let's look for the Easter eggs. Look in the garden. Where are the chocolate eggs? Look in the living room. Where are the chocolate eggs? Look in the kitchen. Where are the chocolate eggs? Look in the bedroom. Where are the chocolate eggs? Look in the dining room. Where are the chocolate eggs? Look in the bathroom. Where are the chocolate eggs? I found my chocolate eggs. Thank you, Easter Rabbit. I am a duck. Do I live in a shoe? No. I live on a lake. I am a hippo. Do I live in a tree? No. I live in a river. I am a cow. Do I live on a boat? No. I live on a farm. I am a camel. Do I live in a swimming pool? No. I live in the desert. I am a fish. Do I live in a cage? No. I live in the sea. I am a goat. Do I live on a bed? No. I live on a mountain. I am a bear. Do I live in a house? No. I live in a forest. I am a bat. Do I live in a car? No. I live in a cave. Where do you live? Do you live in a city? 
Do you live in a town? Do you live in a village? Do you live in the countryside? Good night, Tessa. Good night, Mother. The next morning. Where is my mother? Tessa wakes up, but her mother is not there. Tessa flies off to look for her mother. Tessa flies over the park. But her mother is not there. Tessa flies over the beach. But her mother is not there. Tessa flies over the school. But there is no sign of her mother. Tessa flies over the zoo. But she can't see her mother. Tessa flies over the shops. But her mother is not there either. It starts to get dark. Sadly, Tessa flies back to her tree. Tessa's mother is in the tree. Mother! Tessa cries. Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you, replies her mother. I went to the park, the beach, the school, the zoo, and the shops. But I couldn't find you. I'm glad you are here, said Tessa. I've missed you. Tessa and her mother lived happily ever after. Hello, class. Today we are going to learn about world records. All about the fastest, heaviest, biggest, smallest, oldest, most expensive, highest, and most delicious. Try to remember some of the facts as we learn. At the end of this lesson, I'll give you a quiz. So, are you ready? First up, which is the fastest land animal in the world? The answer is... The cheetah. The cheetah can run at a top speed of 120 kilometers an hour, 75 miles an hour, which is super fast. Cheetahs live in Africa and use their incredible speed to catch other animals to eat. It can only run for a short time though. It gets tired very quickly. Okay, next question. How old is the oldest tree in the world? It's 9,500 years old. Wow! The tree is growing in Sweden and it is called Old Chico. It is not very tall though, only 5 meters. It doesn't look very special either. However, it is so old that people were still living in caves when it started to grow. The next amazing fact is about food. Does anyone like hamburgers? How much do you think the most expensive hamburger costs? It costs over 2,000 American dollars. 1,700 British pounds, 2,200 euros. That is enough to buy 2,000 cheeseburgers at McDonald's.
This expensive burger is sold at the Honky Tonk restaurant in London, England. And it even has gold in it. Would you like to try it? Next up is the smallest bone in your body. Can you guess where in your body it is? It is inside your ear. Yes, that's right. It is called stapes and it helps you to hear sounds. It is only about 0.3 centimeters long. You could easily fit three on your thumbnail. Okay, what do you think is the heaviest animal in the world? Yes, that's right. It is the blue whale. It can weigh 200 tons, about the same as 50 African elephants. Even its tongue can weigh as much as one elephant. Next question. How big do you think is the biggest flower in the world? The answer is one meter wide. That is about the size of a dog. This flower is called Rafflesia arnoldi and grows in Indonesia. You shouldn't smell it though. It smells terrible, like a dead animal. This one is easy. Which mountain is the highest in the world? That's right, Mount Everest. But how high is it? Mount Everest is nearly 9 kilometers, 5.5 miles high. That is the height jumbo jet airplanes fly at. Every year people try to climb to the top. It is not very easy though, because there is not much air near the top, which means it is difficult to breathe. Finally, can anyone tell me the answer to this question? What is the most delicious food in the world? Well, that is impossible to answer. Everyone has a different opinion. My favorite food is bananas. What is the most popular food in this class? Ask questions and find out. Quiz time! Put your hands up if you know the answer. 1. Where in your body is the smallest bone? 2. Why do cheetahs run fast? 3. How wide is the biggest flower in the world? 4. The blue whale is the heaviest animal in the world. How many elephants does it weigh the same as? 5. How high is the highest mountain in the world? 6. How old is the oldest tree in the world? 7. In which country can you buy the most expensive hamburger in the world? 8. What is my favorite food?